Today on the channel, two Texans, a stud, and two British guys walk into a bar. Well, not really. A start of a joke or the start of Jack's Deluxe Classic Series 8. everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Deluxe Classic review. As you guys are fully aware by now, every single Tuesday for the last two years plus, we've been going series by series, line by line, figure by figure through all the Jax Classic superstars. And now we're at the end of the road of another series, the Jax Deluxe Classic Series, as we are taking a look at Series 8 today the final series. What does that mean for our Tuesday reviews? Well, we still got more to do as we still have to go through the deluxe classic exclusives. We have not talked about those on the channel yet, so we will have those in the coming weeks. Going to have a few more Jax classic surprises. Uh, this video series is just never going to end, I guess. It's like the never-ending story, but that movie did end. I'm not sure if this will, but a lot more to come, including some videos. Of course, you guys know I picked up that huge Jax Classic collection, so we're going to have some Jax Classics unboxings here in the future as well. So a lot of fun stuff for you guys that love the Jax Classic series, just like I do. But today, we're talking about the end of the line, 2009, the end of the road for the Classic Superstars series and the Deluxe Classic Superstars series. I wouldn't say this one went out with a whimper, though. Like, the classics, the traditional classics, really went out with a whimper. These hung pretty much in there to the end, I felt like. So Series 8, a very strong set. Some good, some bad, a little bit of ugly like we're used to. Uh, but all in all, I did like this set a little bit. I don't remember having any challenges finding this set or anything like that, so no good fun stories about hunting these guys down. Uh, but some really good stuff in this series. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. Let's start going one by one. Deluxe Classic Series 8. All right, we kick off Deluxe Classic Series 8 with Big John Stud. So very cool to get Big John Stud in the Deluxe Classic line. And I see what Jax did here. They said, hey, we've had him already in the traditional Classic Superstars line as his most iconic gear. And we also got his referee gear from WrestleMania 5. Let's do something totally different. Let's give him his NWA gear, uh, his other gear outside of the WWF. And he might even wore this for a couple of shots in the WWF as well. But when we think Big John Studd, this is not the gear we think him in. Uh, and personally, I would have rather had him in his traditional white tights with the stars on the side. I would have been okay with that in Deluxe Classic as there have been a lot of years between that original Classic release to the time we got this one. So I do feel this one is a little bit of a stumble, a blunder, but at the same time it is cool to get a different representation of Big John Stud as usually when you go to the LJNs, the Classics, uh, even Mattel, you get that other version. So it is something different. Uh, so there is that going on. Now, the funny thing about this Big John Stud figure, whenever I see this, I do not think Big John Stud. I think Michael P.S. Hayes. For whatever reason, I see this. Maybe it's the tights, the hair, very similar looks to the face. Instead of young John Stud, I see Michael P.S. Hayes. So I just, I don't know if any of you guys had that same feeling, but I always have. So I wanted to put that out there as well. But there he is, Big John Stud. He's got the ring skirt behind him. Got the big red boots, the baby blue tights. Uh, and then, of course, his mustache and looking just like John Studd would look. Looking angry over there on the side. Look at him. He's all mad. Does he have the kicks? Oh, yeah. He's got his karate kicks. His big John Studd was practically a ninja in the ring. Uh, if you guys ever watch GCW, you see Ninja Mac. Very similar to Big John Studd, if you've never seen Big John Studd. Or maybe entirely 100% different. Who knows? But there he is on the side there. Other side, you got his name. You got the little star down here. As I always talk about these deluxe classics, you got a star up here, a star here, a star here. A lot of chances for disaster and damaged packaging, which we saw over the years. So FYI, keep your eyes out for that if you're looking for these. Then on the back, you got the big glamour shot. You get the big shadow. He's got a big shadow on him. So you got that going on right there. Then you got the little blurb. We'll read that here in a second. Then you got the cross sell down below. Like I said, a pretty heavy hitter lineup. I was okay with this lineup. Did not seem to go out like a whimper for me. UPC's warnings, all that fun stuff. Let's see what it says about Big John Stud. 364 pounds, 6 foot 10, finishing move, the backbreaker. And that's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get for story time with Big John Stud. So there's Big John. Let's take a look at the next one. 
All right, next up in Deluxe Classic Series 8, we've got the British Bulldog, but it should really be Davy Boy Smith, but instead it just says British Bulldog over here. Now, I understand why they did that, because it's the British Bulldog Davy Boy Smith, but what era this represents of Davy Boy Smith, this is the British Bulldog tag team. So it doesn't quite make sense, but I think people understand what it is, but I always thought this a little bit weird. Uh, but a very, very cool version of the British Bulldogs, and we'll talk about Dynamite here in a second, but Davy Boy's got his nice patented uh, baby blue tights going on here, the black knee pads, very uh, UK inspired boots as well. Uh, young Davy Boy head, no long hair, none of that going on. Uh, very cool ring skirt as well. And you got the British Bulldog on the side and the other side. There's a glamour shot there showing all his action features. As we always say, the forebearer to the Mattel elites was the deluxe aggression style. Uh, on the back, got the shadow, and then Davy Boy just looking down. He's down in the dumps. He's sad. He's kicking a rock as he walks down the street. Not sure exactly what that's all about, eh, but that's what he's doing. And we got the blurb. We'll read that in a second. We got the cross cell down below. You can see Dynamite right there. And unfortunately for me, I wish they would have matched the tights. Uh, they're mismatched in this line. Part of me always felt like they wanted you to buy two of them so you'd swap the heads and you could have two of them in red, two of them in blue. Uh, I don't know. Smart, stranger things have happened, I guess. But it always kind of irked me they were mismatched like that. I always like uniformity in my tag teams. Uh, we didn't get that here. But there it is. There's the back. Let's see what it says about old Dynamite Kid. Dynamite Kid. Dave Boy Smith. Uh, 260 pounds, 5 foot 11. Finishing move, the old running power slam. So there it is. The old British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith in earlier days. All right, next up is the Dynamite Kid. We'll leave Davy Boy just hanging out. He can visit with his partner if they need to in the old plastic prison. But there's old Dynamite. Always did like the look of Dynamite here. I know a lot of people have swapped this head out onto uh, the British Bulldog Mattel Elite figure so you can make the Bulldogs. I did the same thing. I will be switching that back, though, when the Cella Dynamite Kid does finally get released. Uh, we got the cool background with the ring skirt there really popping with the blue. Got his name on the side, Dynamite Kid. There's his action features. He can do it all, folks. There he is. And then on the back of the package, you got Dynamite right there up in the red tights. Got his shadow. He's looking off to the side, a little uh, a little bit like Davy Boy. Davy Boy looking straight down. Uh, Dynamite looking off to the side. Cross cell down below, of course. Then we got the blurb. Let's see what it says about our old buddy Dynamite Kid here. What's going on with the old Dynamite? 225 pounds, 5 foot 8, just a little guy. Uh, finishing move, the old diving headbutt, of course, but very cool. Very iconic tag team. Would love to see more figures of them throughout the years, but we had a lot of good ones in the Classic Superstars run. That is for sure. So there it is, the British Bulldogs. Let's take a look at the two Texans next. All right, next up, we got one of the most iconic wrestlers of all time in the WWF, WWE, of course, and that is Stone Cold Steve Austin, the old Texas Rattlesnake, uh, making his another appearance in the Deluxe Classic line as he made a few of these, and we'll be talking about him in one of the most expensive classic superstars of all time, one of the most expensive ones coming up here in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that for sure. Uh, but as we all know, the first version of Stone Cold in the Deluxe Classic line, he had more of the red vest and stuff. This is more of the iconic black and silver Stone Cold, so a lot of people wanted this one back in the day. I would have to say it's probably the most popular one of the set as well. Got the ring skirt behind him, of course. Then you got Stone Cold Steve Austin right there, looking only like he can look. I like that everybody had different poses in the package this go around as well. That was nice. Stone Cold Steve Austin. On the other side, you got the glamour shots. And on the back, we got the blurb. We'll read that in a second. We got Stone Cold flexing up there with his vest. Always a good look with this vest here. It's the great Stone Cold. One more round. Uh, OMR on the side there to represent his last match, of course. The cross sell, UPCs, all that. A very, very solid Stone Cold Steve Austin Deluxe Classic. Uh, weight 252 pounds, six foot two. Finishing move, of course, we all know his finishing move. The Stone Cold Stunner. So there it is, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, back again in the Deluxe Classic line, and more Stone Cold talk to come here in the next couple of weeks as we look at exclusive Deluxe Classics. But next up, we're saving the best for last. Let's check him out.
All right, last up, the last figure in the mainline Deluxe Classic Superstar Series set is good old Chainsaw Charlie, a.k.a. Terry Funk, a.k.a. one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And it must have been subconsciously, but I wore this Terry Funk shirt for whatever reason. Uh, I wasn't planning. I didn't plan this. It just must be somewhere deep in my subconscious to match it to this figure. But it was very cool to get Chainsaw Charlie. Obviously, I would have rather had a classic Terry Funk figure instead, but hey... Any Terry Funk representation is better than none. Chainsaw Charlie, very cool to get here. We did get Chainsaw Charlie in the classic superstars as well, as most of you guys know. But now we get a deluxe one as well. I think he even got a microaggression figure at one time. And then for those keeping track at home, we are supposed to get sometime in 2022 a Chainsaw Charlie Mattel Elite. So I cannot wait for that day to come. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But let's take a look at the packaging on old Chainsaw Charlie. Now, I love that they gave him the pantyhose over his head, if you guys remember him. Uh, we all knew it was Terry Funk, but he had the pantyhose over his head. Chainsaw Charlie was uh, his barber, his childhood barbler, barber. They would say, oh, I'm going to get my hair cut at Chainsaw Charlie's. And he took it over as a gimmick. Uh, looks like he's ready to work on the farm. He's got his taped hands there. and He's got his blue jeans on, his suspenders, and his red shirt. Looking only like Terry Funk could look if he was Chainsaw Charlie. So you knew I was all about this one. This is a favorite of mine. Uh, I love me some Terry Funk. And one of these days, we'll probably do a top five, top ten Terry Funk on the channel. We got to. Maybe we'll do that in a couple of years. We'll wait some time. We'll at least wait for that next Elite to come and see what we think. Uh, but there he is right there looking good. On the back, of course, we got the blurb, we got the cross sell, we got the glamour shots. It looks funny with that bag over his head, though, especially in the bigger shot. It just looks a little strange. UPCs, warnings, all that fun stuff. Let's read the back. Let's see what it says about old Terry Funk Chainsaw Charlie. 240 pounds, six foot one, and the finishing move, the good old pile driver. Watch out for that. So there it is. That's Deluxe Classic Series 8. Another line down, a very fun one, a, a nice stroll down memory lane. Like we're strolling down the old aisles of Toys R Us when we go through these videos. But very fun line, very fun sub line of the Classic Superstar series. And after all these years, a little bit underrated and I would say a little forgotten compared to the regular Classic Superstar. So hopefully you guys learned some stuff, enjoyed along here. But like I said, it's not over. We still got to do the Deluxe Classic exclusives and we probably got a few more videos plus some more surprises your way. So if you love Jack's Classic Superstars, you came to the right place, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, give it this video the old thumbs up, follow along on Patreon. You can get these. I drop these on Tuesdays. I drop them on Fridays most of the time on Patreon, so you can get these a heck of a lot earlier. And then there'll be some more surprises that Patreon members will find out about first, including all those doubles Classic Superstars I have for sale. Patreon guys are going to get first dibs on those, so stay tuned for more of that in the future so there you go so there it is follow along subscribe all that fun stuff and leave me your comments down below and let me know your thoughts on the deluxe classic superstars so until next time i'm kyle see you guys all real soon